6,170 pounds. Considering you've got a trailer this size with a big living room super slide, that's already crazy lightweight. But then you walk around the other side, you realize this also has a second living room slide. This is an opposing slide Bullet 26 rear bath Premier. Uh, Premier is the upscale member of the Bullet family. It's sort of like if the standard Bullet and a Cougar travel trailer had a baby. Yeah, that, that makes that makes sense. That makes that's about right. It's got some more upscale features, but like I say, it's still crazy lightweight. Late model, late model enough. It might still qualify for same as new financing pending approval. That's good. And I tell you what. I can't find anything wrong with it other than the fact that it's parked here and not in your driveway. This is clean, sharp, good, nice, right, whatever adjective you prefer. And some of the more upscale features that you'll find on here that maybe a more standard bullet super light might not have would be things like the solid surface kitchen counters. You saw that uh, big barreled vaulted ceiling there. There, there'd be some like extra LED accent lighting. There's, there's a couple gizmos and whiz bangs that go along with it. But again, there's a lot of like, it just, it just visibly makes you go, oh yes. Now with the opposing slides here, that is really where this floor plan comes into play because it, it starts over here like right when you walk in, you're looking at this uh, flawless condition trifold sleeper sofa. All the windows uh, around this entire slide open for airflow. And an interesting thing here I noticed, I was like, huh, there's a light switch way back here in the corner. It's actually accent lighting up in the valence itself, which I think is actually very cool. I think that that could make for some really neat night lighting. Over here, the uh, table and chairs, not a booth kind of setup because we got a trifold sleeper if we have guests. This will give you a more comfortable one, two person experience while still giving us a four person uh, seating arrangement. You can see how the seats are all buckle strapped down for transit. That's how I found them when I came in. This RV, uh, everything that you should do with it has been done. But what you're going to see as we go through here is it has been impeccably well kept. I have a feeling that they did some just like regular routine cleaning on the inside of the RV, similar to what you might do in your house. I'm not sure they used the RV a lot. If they did, boy, howdy, they took care of it and they sure were gentle on it because I don't even see any little depressions or uh, as I like to call them, nerdism number 37, any little butt buckets where they might have sat on a sofa a bunch. It uh, does not appear they spent any significant amount of time in here. Now that TV can pivot around to the sofa a little bit if you want it to. It's at a great space here. If you're in the kitchen, you're entertaining. This is a floor plan, I think. People will spend more time outside with the camp kitchen or hanging out here at the table or standing at the kitchen where I'm standing right now, perhaps than the sofa, which sounds totally crazy. That's just the vibe that I get from this one, but maybe that's just me. I could be totally, totally wrong here. Um, let's start cracking open all the storage. We'll start down here below the television and work our way around. And what you're going to see is, I'm ugh, man, this one is packed with capacity. That's an eight cubic foot gas electric fridge, so big pots and pans storage space. But wait until we get over here by the just huge double pantry, not just single. You've got one pantry that's like the size of a refrigerator. Then you've got another pantry that you could easily use. I, I would say for like overflow linen space from the bathroom, but when we get back there, you're going to see there's great storage. You can see uh, drawers right here in the kitchen space. And to accomplish that, they had to go with an extra large island. You notice that's a big farm sink, but even when the sink is being used, you always have some really good prep space here. And I like the symmetry of it. I, I would prefer asymmetry uh, uh, function over symmetry, but when I can get symmetry and function together, I'm a happy camper. And something else I just kind of keyed in on the fact, it's a minor thing, but this is actually pretty handy. These are metallic face plates. So if you get to your destination, have a little magnet up there, grab a couple flyers from the little camp uh, spot, you know, the, the, the office is what I'm saying, where they've always got some trifolds. Get, you know, a couple things to do. If it's going to be a rainy day, find a couple indoor activities. If it's going to be nice, maybe go outside and find like a local, I don't know, water park, something. You get the idea. That vaulted ceiling will be very nice up in that radius shower, by the way, giving you some extra headroom where you really need it. And one of the cool things about these rear um, outside kitchen models is they come with big bathrooms. But above the outside kitchen, if you notice over here, 
They also have some really big extra storage capacity, which I think is a, I mean, who's going to be upset about that? Now, again, I always try to be fair. I, I said that I can't really find anything wrong. That This is the worst I've been able to find, and I believe this is only a symptom of heat expansion and compression. This little uh, ceiling board batten strip, uh, it looks like it just needs to get refastened, stapled back up in place, probably with the trailer expanding and contracting a little bit. It just stressed that a touch. Nothing major. That's it. That's that's the worst I've been able to find. And with half a second of effort, it'd be gone. You'd never know what happened. There is a sliding privacy door over here, by the way. This is a 60 by 80 True Queen, not a shorty, with room to walk around the bed, uh, which is kind of nice in here. This is also one of the easiest areas to get to really see and appreciate the vaulted ceiling that these have because you see that trim piece there follows the ceiling line. I don't use a tricky fisheye camera lens. That's just how it looks. It jumps right up there. It's almost, it's like a five and a half, five inch vault. It's almost a six inch extra kind of just open air comfort space inside. Now look at the other direction here. You see where the previous owners added a pretty good, I don't know, 32 inch screen, which I think is pretty generous in here. It's got a nice angle mount to it, as you see. It can, uh, you know, do a little pivoting if need be. Um, so if you want to make it face a little bit more toward bed center versus just the driver's side of the bed, you can do that. Um, and I figure, as long as we're pointing this direction, I go ahead and close the slides up, show you how she's going to uh, treat you in road mode. I think this is definitely, with the island and opposing slides, definitely something you're going to want to use and enjoy mostly at a destination. I mean, if you're, if it's like, oh my gosh, I'm having an emergency here. If you had to, you could maybe butt squeeze through that a little bit. You could kind of hop over the table. You could get back into the bathroom, maybe the pantry. But this is definitely one like you're not going to get to the refrigerator, maybe the freezer with the slide closed. So you can get to a number of features. They're not necessarily, it's not really built with the intention of stopping and using it with the slides closed. This is one absolutely made for getting there and spending some time and, and getting her opened up. And I mean, if we're going to give credit, it's due. This doesn't just look good outside. That, that's a good looking nose. I mean, that really sets the tone on this thing. It looks like a stealth fighter jet camper thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what I was going for. I know I didn't exactly find it, but I think it was close enough in the neighborhood. You get the idea. Uh, now, remember, power awnings are like, I don't know, eight foot deep or something like that. That's a foot and a half deep kitchen slide. So you've still got plenty of room in front of that slide for picnic tables and whatnot. And I like how they extend the awning all the way back here over the camp kitchen. Now, one of the questions I get on stuff like this is, sure, but can I walk under it? Well, at uh, I'm about six, two-ish, six, three-ish. And at my height, even walking directly under the um, latches, that hold the baggage door shut. You notice I didn't rake my balding head over here. Wow, I am really washing out with the light on me. Whew, let's flip that back around the other direction right here. Now, we're going to see a couple things when we get up into the passenger. There's a bunch of accessories included with this, including the original rear bumper grill. It does come with the RV. Plus, you've got a little pull-out cooktop over here, so you can be cooking the meats and the sides at the same time. That is galvanized rolled steel countertop, so no big deal. She gets a little wet, you just wipe it up. Plus, there, you know, you just bang stuff, clang stuff around, throw stuff in there for transit. Not really going to scar anything up. You obviously don't want to bang it into the sidewalls anymore, and you can help it. Real sink with a drain. You can see, uh, you know, they didn't like leave dead bugs in there or anything like that. Not a little bug collector. I like this open appliance shelf space, though, especially considering. You still have the little mini fridge up top. I'll tell you what, I would move that fridge plug to the bottom of those two plugs and I'd turn the top one into like a phone charge splitter so I could have my phone charge outside without necessarily having it like in my pocket. Like, I don't know about you, sometimes when I'm wearing my camping shorts, I'm wearing the, uh, the no pocket just comfortable variety. I like to wear loose fitting athletic shorts because I find it's easier than actually being athletic you just wear the shorts and be like oh he must work out i don't know if they think that or not i like to think that they do uh kind of similar to i had a, a revelation one day wide stance stability axles for easy towing by the way as we interrupt my nonsense uncle josh story that i'm on on a tangent over here but i i dabble with guitar and every now and then i'll have a guitar pick in my pocket and i pull some change out of my pocket at a grocery store and they're like oh do you play and I do. So I say yes, but it occurs to me, they don't know that. So if you ever want to feel what it's like to be a Walmart rock star, put some guitar picks 
mixed in with the loose change in your pocket and go to the store. And then just remember not to pay in, in credit or debit because then they'll never see your guitar picks and you'll never get to feel that. I think you get the idea. Um, <laughs> I've obviously gone way off topic. In that front passenger compartment, you see a nice set of those uh, Camco kind of Lego style leveling blocks. Those things are handy as all get out. Just no weather exposure that I can see anywhere. I don't know if they were just insanely on top of their care TLC routine, if it was stored in a barn. It looks like where they added some Max Air vent covers over the uh, bedroom and bathroom. So there's a couple aftermarket dollars. But similarly, over here, you see that their hitching is also included. So if you've had just like a family pop-up or if you've never had an RV and you're looking for something that has uh, some, some very nice upper scale features to it, but you'd rather stay away from the new RV market, you can get all that here, still potentially get same as new RV financing. And you've got a bunch of accessories that you're going to want regardless of whether you buy new or used already included. That is awesome. This is that that gem, that, that pearl in the oyster that you look for in the used RV market. You can crack open 100 oysters and you find the one with the pearl. That's what this one is. That should be your name. That should be pearl, except it doesn't look very pearlescent. Is that a word? Feels like it's a word. If it's not a word, it should be. I've just coined a phrase if it wasn't a phrase already. She's pearlescent. <laughs> so give us a call. Joking aside, we'd love to meet you. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Make sure you click that subscribe button, everyone.